it's your girl Sass, and I'm back with another one, Straight Facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. Last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for your girl. So, happy Thanksgiving. I want to start off by saying happy Thanksgiving to everyone, my supporters. Um, even if you haven't supported already, even if you haven't subscribed already, um, happy Thanksgiving to you. I wish y'all the best. Be safe on today. You know, it's an amazing day. You know, drop below down in the comments what you're thankful for and, you know, what you're thankful for. So, don't mind me, y'all. I just got the shower not so long ago. This powder, if y'all looking. But, um, I'm getting ready, as you guys can see, I'm about to do a little, well, I'm doing my makeup. I just have to finish it and blend it a little bit more. But, um, I'm going to get dressed. Stay tuned. Um, so, I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah, like... Wait till y'all see the full outfit, okay? Wait till y'all see the full outfit. But it's like I'm a jacket. Just in case it get cold. And I got my bag. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's <laughs> it <laughs> Damn. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, what you doing, get boy? Candy, a bunch of Come here, son. Nope. <laughs> okay. Hey. Come down, please. I just want to you to meet. Thanks. Look good. Uh, Eugene. This is my daughter, Jen. I'm about to fuck it up. I'm about to fuck it up. <laughs> Drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl post. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. Do those steps for your girl. As you guys can tell by the title, I am doing like a Popeyes. I'm finally, finally, finally 
trying the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. I know I am far long behind, but better late than never. And I was like tweaking, like I was tweaking. I was tweaking, I was tweaking and trying to find the right time and to do this. So just the right time. And I'm gonna give you a little story time why I, you know, try that spicy chicken sandwich. So um, it's the time when I thought I was like kind of semi gonna get kidnapped in a way. Y'all, y'all like um, Popeye's sweet heat sauce? I love it. It's one of the best sauces. Like, I don't know what it is. It tastes so good. But, um, so let me, um, I'm about to tell a story. So I'm about to, um, begin. So this was when, hold up. Do I need some sauce on here? I'm going to put it there. I'm, about, I'm trying to try something. I'm trying to try something here. This shit good. Yo, I was tweaking to see what the hype was about because every. I wanted to see what the hype was about about this sandwich. Yo, the bread is so like moisturized and i don't know if it's because i like popeyes like i like popeyes way better than chick-fil-a um because i don't know popeye i mean popeyes they sell like other things chick-fil-a they only sell chicken shit like chicken stuff like it's nasty like the only thing i do eat is the chicken the spicy chicken sandwich but it ain't even all of that like they be amped up hyped up about chick-fil-a but this was the time so the story I'm about to tell is the time I went to Houston for my godchild birthday. Now I know like Houston be having like variety, uh, like it's real diverse. But I was I had caught the Greyhound, and this was like I went by myself. Everything I was you know doing big girl shit, doing big grown woman shit. <laughs> it's like I play, but um, I was leaving. And my um went to go back to New Orleans, come back to New Orleans. And it said I was supposed to board my bed, y'all so damn good. 4 30 and arrive in New Orleans at like you know, Baton Rouge. It was Baton Rouge because I I went from school. I was supposed to arrive in Baton Rouge like at eight. Yeah, because it was like four, four and a half, five hours. But we had got on the bus and they were stopping in like at different cities like to bring people back so it was like beaumont texas lafayette lake charles all of that and like when i was you know when you when you leave that late it's like be like 4 30 5 o'clock they said it was dark so mind you i'm thinking you know i'm about to give me a little good little nap in by the time i wake up i'll be in Baton Rouge, get off the bus you know upload these videos for y'all everything that wasn't the case so, I'm gonna find the clip. It was looking so weird. Like, I felt like I was in a wrong area. Like, you know how, like, you make that wrong turn or that wrong. I don't know. I felt like I was just in a wrong area at the wrong time, the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't know. That's my heart. That's my baby. Both of my babies. Even though they treat me like the baby, they treat me like the baby, and I'm the older one. I mean, I'm the oldest. I mean, by a few months, but I'm still the oldest. Okay, so, but I hope you guys enjoy. They had different. They had Arabs there. They had black people, and I'm I'm not racist at all. I'm not racist at all. I love all types of people. My baby, I love all types of people. They had um, Caucasian white people, black people, Arab uh, Arabs. They had um, Asians. They had them all. And they call, I think it was bus uh line E or something like that. It was like, you know, y'all about the board next or whatever. I get on a bus and I didn't have a I didn't like re reserve no seat or whatever. It's just said anyway. So when I got on a bus, it was like going there, it wasn't no no like it was like a good maybe 15 people out the whole Greyhound bus. 
But like going back, that bitch was packed. And it was like, I guess, cause everybody was returning home and stuff like that. I don't know. But it was so packed. So I sat on an end by the window and it had this family. It was two boys and a mama, but it was just so many people. They had separated. One boy came by me, one boy sat in the front and a mama sat in the, in the, in the far back. And mind you, like when we pull off, when we pull off and we about to leave and stuff like that, he turned the lights off because it's still like nighttime. He turned the lights off because most people, you know, you usually go back to sleep. So I'm thinking about to give me a little good nap in, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. I think we was in, what come first? I think Lake Charles. Yeah, when we first get in Louisiana, Lake Charles come first. We was in Lake Charles. And I kid you not. I kid you not. Mm. Yeah. We was in Lake Charles, and I kid you not. Um, When I looked up, it looked like we was in a country. Like, I don't know what we were And I just looked up look around and get a feeling of my surroundings and go back to sleep. But when I wake up, the boy who sit next to me, like, his face, I'm telling you, y'all, his face look like a grown-ass man. He like a grown-ass man, like 30-something. But I feel like he had to be, like, maybe four, 15, in between 14 and 16. I don't know. Because he was with his mama and his mama and his brother and the little the brother was young too, but his face like grown ass man. And don't know how when y'all wake up, y'all like look around and look a little blurry. You just gotta rub your eyes a little and you know, wait fully wake up. And so that's what it was like when we got to Lake Charles. I just feel I just felt like a body just standing above me. But I know he was sitting down, but I just felt like a body standing over me. And I just took off the cause I had the my my jacket because baby, I my shit, let me put my shit over here. Let me have my jacket on, cover my face, school to the fall, school to the fall, clo I mean, the fall left closer to the, to the window. You know, let me let me control my space. Man, when I tell you, I took the jacket off and he on me like, I don't know if the, if it was the bus shaking or making too many turns. I don't know what it was. And then he was kind of sort of talking in his sleep. Now, I talk in my sleep sometimes, but like I catch myself. It don't be like nothing crazy. But like he was saying some weird ass shit like, I'm going to kill this bitch. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm like, wait, hold up, hold up. So... I take the cover, the, the jacket off. I had my gray jacket on. And I take the, the jacket off. And this nigga got his hand, his arm over. Like, I'm like, excuse me, can you back up? Can you back up? And he like, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. And then he kind of like leaned over to like the um the, 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 the aisle area, like where he was sitting. Because, excuse me, it was on the two seats. One closer to the window and then one closer to the aisle. So he was like, um, my bad, my bad. And so he scooted, he scooted over. And then he just like looked up, woke up, whatever. He's like, oh, oh. And then just went back to sleep. I this happened two times. This happened two times. And I'm like, excuse me, can you I'm like, Lord, I don't want, I don't want, I won't fuck nobody up on this bus. I don't wanna fuck nobody up on this bus. But can you please get over? Like, you in invading my privacy. Like, nigga, I don't know you. Back the fuck up. Back, like, back up. Like, like back up. And it was the third time that just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, for real. Last time this happened, he had his head. I mean, the last, okay, the last time it happened, he had his head on my shoulder in his hand, in his right hand, wrapped around my lap, like like we was like dating or something, like like re related to that. I'm like, oh my motherfucking god! I said, I was saying in my head, I'm like, 
Lord, I won't have to go to, I won't have to go to jail. I don't want to have to hurt nobody on this fucking bus. I don't know if he a grown ass man. I don't know if he a little boy, but he about to fucking get hurt. He about to get fucking hurt. All I know is he took his hand, whatever he had, a blood paper towel or something. This nigga tried to like, and that's why, that's why it's okay to have uh, tasers um, based with you. Because you never know what people intentions is and you never know how people come. You never know how people are. This nigga, he had a paper towel and he tried to put it over my face. All hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. I went to swinging. I went to yelling. I went to fighting. Because baby, one thing about this one is I ain't going to go down without a fight. Just, just, just to let you know. I won't go down without a fight. So, um, I went to door and I was, he stopped the bus. He pulled the bus to the side. He was like, what's going on? And stuff like that. He moved me to the next. Nah, we was like midway, like, to Lafayette. And I know, like, once we get to Lafayette, it's only maybe like 50 minutes to an hour left on the bus. So, I'm like, he said, you know what, Miss Connelly, I'm going to move you downstairs. And have him be with his family. I'm like, oh, hell no. That was the last time I ever did Greyhound. I would never do Greyhound ever again. Ever since then, like the second time I went to Houston, I rode Megabus. I rode Megabus. And then I'm going to Atlanta soon. And I will be right. I was going to do the Megabus. But doing the Megabus from New Orleans is just long. It's eight hours. And I can't sit the sit still. So I'm going to fly down. And flying that is way better. And it was going to uh, average out a little bit around the same price. But it was just a, maybe like a $15 difference. But um, I do an uh, hour and 30 minutes, an uh, hour and 25 minutes of sitting on a plane. Then eight, eight, eight hours and 30 minutes on a damn Megabus. Mm -mm. But that was my experience. I was about to go off. Like, I can't do that shit. Like, me as a person, I'm like, uh-uh. Uh uh Nah, I don't mind, like, if we're in a tight space and you don't have that much space and you can't move. But, nigga, you got your own fucking seat. Back the fuck up. Like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to touch me? Why are you trying to lean on me? I know maybe the bus may shake or turn or whatever. And you might have your head down on a person. Might, like, get up or whatever. But this nigga was literally trying to, to sleep on me. Like, and, I, and the third thing, I think he was trying to, like... Not not smother me, but um, you know how like y'all ever see those movies where they have something in the paper towel? I forgot, but it make him go to sleep and make him like pass out. I feel like that's what the fuck he was trying to do. And bitch, he got the wrong girl. Got the wrong girl for real. Mm mm mm. But hold on. That was my story. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm about to finish this food. My red beans. I wanted a biscuit. I wish I, wish I would have known that it came with fucking biscuit. With a, with, I wish it, I wish I didn't know that it come. It didn't come with a biscuit. Cause I I love biscuits. I got honey for nothing. I was tweaking. But um, I'm about to finish this. Um, and yeah. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Life of Sassy. Tell a friend to come join us. Tell your friend. Tell your friend, your best friend, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your cousins. Tell them all to come join the plush gang. 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 But we out. Peace. Yeah. What? Alright. Uh, Three cups. Gang. Uh, gang. I got